All right, this video, I'll be showing you how to take up the front fenders of a 90 to 93 Accord or CV7. If you check out my previous videos, I'll show you how to take off the front bumper and the headlights. So check those out, all right? So take out the fender, and I'll take out the screw right here. That's the reason you I'm gonna take off the bumper to go to this screw right here. When that's out, there's another one right here. So this one just slides out. Like that. Try not to break it because you need to put the bump on with that. So this is a Phillips carry tail. bracket is holding on to it right here so I gotta take it off let's spray this one too just in case it's easy to take that one then you have the screw down here and then you have one right here inside of the door that you have to take out same thing with the top it's right there inside of the door and then you have these three up here so that one is this is 10 millimeter sockets. Now the reason I'm taking out these um, fenders, like I said in my previous videos, is because I am doing a custom job. I'm putting uh, new headlights and whatnot, new tail lights. But the reason I'm taking out the fender is because I'm going to go underneath the car with the tire goes and take care of whatever rust is down there because. This is a keeper. This is the car I'm gonna stay with. So I wanna make sure everything is good with the car. Not just it running or performing properly, but also looking properly. And if you don't take care of some brush, you know it's like cancer. It just keeps spreading. There's no stopping it. So you have to get rid of it. And if you watch my previous videos, that's what I did on the inside of the car. On the floor. Show you how to do that. See that's how it is right now. Those are the wires of the 04 TSX. And what I'm talking about is this. See, some metal got scraped, some water got to it, so it's starting to rust. So before it gets worse, I want to take care of it. Same thing right here. A little bit of rust. I put some tape on it just for the time being. Um, this is the little hole for the wires that go to the door. So I, since I had taken all the wires out, I didn't want to leave that exposed like that for water to go inside. So I uh, covered it. Now, for these, what I use is the keys. These right here. Uh, oh, yes, 10 millimeters. So. We should get 10 millimeter one. Make sure it's spinning in the right direction, which is them. So you can see it better from the inside. This is 
right there. So tight, a little space right here is tight, so let me show you through it right. This is an awkward spot. I don't know why they did it like this, but it's not too bad. So just play around with it. So pull these screws out. It's a little pain, but once I take all these screws out, I may cut you guys back. So what I ended up doing was taking this screw out right here. That is the one that was holding this up because this is pretty stuck in there. You see, it kind of got a little twisted. So I was trying to take it out. So I just left it there and just took that screw out. So now, what I do is lift the fender up. That's it. 